What's up boys and girls, it is White Gamer. Today we have the best CDM built for level 25, level 50, level 75, and level 100. This first one will be for level 25. So for your position, you're gonna go with CDM. Height, we're gonna go with 5'11". Weight, you're gonna go with 149 pounds. Now for your playstyle plus, I recommend going with the Tiki Taco plus for now guys at level 25. And then guys, once you hit level 26, get the Anticipate Plus, but the Tiki Taka Plus will allow for those short distance passes and those one-time passes to come out much, much quicker. Now, from your regular playstyle, definitely recommend the Anticipate. It's an improved chance of you winning your standing tackle. Then we're going to go with a Quick Step because this is going to allow you to accelerate quicker if you're ever caught off position and you need to track back or if you need to push up a little bit, this will help you out accelerate. Now, for your last one, guys, it's all up to you and uh what you prefer if you prefer to jump a bit higher and have more aerial threat then i'll go with aerial if not i would recommend one of the passing guys if you're that type of cdm when you intercept the ball you like to do a lot of lob passes in the air with extra square then go with this one you can also go with the ping pass when you do that r1x and rba the ball will travel much quicker on the ground so this last one's all up to you i would go with long ball pass guys because if you don't use this and you do for and you go for an extra square ball, the ball tends to go up really high and it'll take forever for your teammate to receive it. But these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for level 25 CDM build. For the running style, the one I recommend is the Medalist. Remember guys, you can use whichever running style you like. You can even use the default, but I recommend the Medalist. I think it's really good for CDM. Now for the skill tree at level 25, you're only gonna have 48 skill points. So get these two sprint speed and then you're gonna get these three acceleration right here. Now this gives you 82 acceleration and 83 sprint speed. That's pretty good for now guys. Remember only level 25. And for the most part, if you know how to position yourself, you should be good on pace. Now from the shooting, we're just gonna focus on the three star weak foot. I highly recommend at least to have a three star for now. We're gonna upgrade that later on in the levels. Now from the passing, you're gonna focus on your long passing, get it to 81. That also gives you 81 short pass, which is decent. Like I said, it's nothing crazy. Remember, you're only a low level, level 25. Then from the dribbling, you are going to get the dribbling focus. And then you're going to get your agility filled out just like this. Now, this gives you 85 agility, which you do want to have agility on your CDM bill. You don't want to be turning too slow or else your opponent will just take the ball away from you. And then everything else, balance, ball control is and dribbling is in the 70s. But don't worry, we will upgrade that later. And then from the defending, guys, you're going to focus on your interceptions. Obviously, interceptions and standing tackles are the most important thing as a CDM. You want to be able to intercept the ball really well. And then you also got 89 defensive awareness with 86 standing tackle. If we back out, boys and girls, you're going to be an 84 rated CDM with 82 pace. You got the three star weak foot, 78 passing, 74 dribbling, 88 defending, and 83 physical. This was level 25 CDM built. Now we have level 50 CDM built. Your position is going to be CDM at CDM. Height, 5'11. Weight is going to be 149 pounds. Now for your play style plus, I definitely recommend Anticipate Plus, guys. This is going to make this the chances of you winning your standing tackle much, much better. And when you do make that standing tackle, the ball will stay right in front of your feet. Now, from your regular play styles at level 50, most of you guys should have all your regular ones slot unlocked. And I highly recommend the long ball pass, guys. This will allow you to find your teammates that are far out with extra square. Is there any lob passes? So you definitely want to have this one. Then we're going to go with ping pass, guys. This is going to allow for the ball to travel much quicker on the ground. And it's really good just to start up buildups and just attack in general with RBA or R1 and X. Next, we're going to go with the intercept, guys. Now, the main reason we're going to go with this is because it's going to help you retain possession of the ball when you make that interception. So usually when you don't use this and you make an interception, your pro will take a bad control or just lose it even if you make the interception. So this will help retain possession when you do make that interception. Next, we're going to go with Press Proven. This is going to keep the ball very close to your feet when you're not sprinting. And when you're shielding the ball, it's going to make it much difficult for opponents to knock you off. Then we're going to go with Quick Step. It's going to allow you to accelerate quicker when you need to track back or just chase down an opponent. And then last but not least, we're going to go with Aerial. So you can have more Aerial presence and ability. Guys, if you don't want to go with Aerial, you can always go with Tiki Taka if you want. But I think these are really good play styles and play style plus for level 50. For the running style, the one I've been recommending is the Medalist. I think this one's really good. It was good last year. It's still good this year. Remember, you can go with whatever running style you prefer, but I recommend the Medalist. Now we have the skill tree for level 50. You're going to have 87 skill points. So get these four acceleration and then get these three sprint speed 
right here now this gives you 84 acceleration and 85 sprint speed which that's pretty good guys that is really good for a cdm at level 50 then from the shooting we're going to upgrade it to the four star weak foot you definitely want to have the ability to pass with either of your foot and i highly recommend it it's not going to hurt you it's going to actually help you out because you're not always going to be able to put it on your preferred foot then from the passing guys you're gonna get the short passing get your vision and then you're gonna get your long passing <clears throat> almost filled out just like this and then we're gonna get the passing focus now this gives you 80 vi vision which is decent that's gonna determine how accurate those through balls are and then you have 89 long pass which is really really good so you can send long passes to your teammates and then you got 85 short pass which that will do the job for now and these are really good passing stats guys now from the dribbling you're gonna get your agility filled out just like this get the dribbling focus on this right side we're gonna get the ball control focus and then you're gonna get balance now this gives you 87 agility which is good you have it in the high 80s you want to be able to turn quickly with the ball as a cdm if you're turning too slow then your opponents are just going to take it away from you and then the balance ball control and dribbling it's in the mid 70s that will do the job for now we will upgrade that in the later on levels then from the defending you're going to upgrade your interceptions completely filled out and then you're going to max out your standing tackles now this gives you 97 interceptions which is excellent guys if you're Anywhere near the ball, your pro will make the interception. Then you got 93 defensive awareness and 91 standing tackle. If we back out, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be an 87 CDM with 84 pace. You got the four-star weak foot, 81 passing, 77 dribbling, 91 defending, and 83 physical. This was level 50 CDM built. Now, we have level 75 CDM built. Your position is going to be CDM at CDM. Height, 5'11". Weight, we're going to go with 149 pounds. Now, by this time, around level 75, but, well, by level 60, you're going to have everything unlocked. So, the first two play styles I definitely recommend is Anticipate Plus, guys. You're going to be doing a lot of standing tackles as a CDM, guys. This is going to help you win those standing tackles and the ball stop right in front of your foot. And then for your next one, guys, there's a couple of options you can go with. I definitely recommend the Ping Pass Plus because this is going to allow for the ball to travel much quicker and faster on the ground when you do RBA or R1X to find your teammates and to start the attack much quicker. You can also go with the long ball pass plus. If you're that type of CDM that likes to play the ball a lot in the air, the long ball pass plus will help out with that and it has way more travel speed than the regular version. But I recommend the ping pass. I recommend these two. Now, for um, your regular play style, guys, definitely go with the long ball pass. The regular one does the job. If you don't use this, then the ball will go really high up and it'll take forever for your teammates to get it. Then we're going to go with the Tiki Taka, guys. It doesn't hurt to have those one-time abilities and those short distance passes to be accurate. You know, as a CDM, you're also going to be doing a lot of short passing. Not always is it going to be in the air. Then we're going to go with Intercept, guys. The main reason we're going to go with this is because this is going to help you not only intercept the ball, but when you do make that interception, your pro will have retained possession really well. It won't bounce off of your pro or nothing like that. Next, we're going to go with the press proven because this is going to keep the ball very close to your feet when you're not running with it. And when you shield the ball with left trigger or L2, your pro will be able to shield the ball much more efficiency, efficient, my bad. And then we're going to go with a quick step. This will allow you to accelerate a little bit quicker. And then last but not least, guys, I definitely recommend the aerial so you have that ability to jump even higher because sometimes you're going to be marking defenders so you definitely want to have aerial but these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for level 75 cdm for the running style the one i've been recommending is the medalist this one was very very good last year and i think it's still good remember guys you can use whichever one you like you can even use the default this is just a visual thing and certain people prefer a running style and i would recommend the medalist now we have the skill tree for level 75. You're going to have 123 skill points. Get these four acceleration and then get these four sprint speed right here. Now this gives you 84 acceleration and 87 sprint speed. If this is too slow for whatever reason, you can always add more pace. But we, we're going to add more pace later on in the levels. I think this should be more than enough. Remember, when you're playing CDM, it's all about persisting yourself and whatnot. Then from the weak foot, we're going to get the four star weak foot. This will be more than enough. For you to pass with both of your foot or either of your foot then from the passing we're gonna get the short passing vision get your long passing completely filled out and then you're gonna get the passing focus now this gives you 80 vision which is decent that's gonna determine how accurate the through balls come out then you have 92 long pass which is excellent guys not much to say then 87 short pass that should be more than enough as long as you're aiming it properly your teammates nearby will receive the ball 
Then from the dribbling guys, you're gonna get the agility, get the dribbling focus. These two right here, you're gonna get these two dribbling on this right side. We're gonna focus on ball control focus, and then just ball control, ball control focus, more ball control focus, and then get that balance, guys. Now this gives you 89 agility, which is really good, guys. That's gonna help you move directions much much quicker when you have the ball. And then you got 84 balance, which is good. Remember, you also have the press proven play style, which will help you out when you need to shield the ball. And it's going to make it difficult for opponents to get you off that ball. Then you got 86 ball control and 83 dribbling. You do want to have ball control as a CDM because you don't want to be taking bad control of the ball because then it can lead to the opponent taking it away from you. Next, we got the defending, guys. One of the most important things from the CDM built. Get that interceptions maxed out. Then you're going to get some defensive awareness and slide tackle. Then we're going to focus on the standing tackle right here. Now, this gives you 97 interceptions, which is excellent, guys. Not much to say. If you're nearby the ball, your pro will make the interception. 95 defensive awareness is going to allow you to perform those standing tackles, interceptions, just much better. And then you got 91 standing tackle. Next, we got the strength, guys, the physical. You get one strength and then one reaction, just like this now. You got 83 jumping, which is great. 81 strength will do the job, guys. Most of the players that you're going to come up against aren't going to be that strong. That should be more than enough. And then you got the reactions, guys. Uh, reactions are very important for every build, especially for CDM, because that's going to improve you intercepting the ball much quicker. And just the responsiveness of your pro will be much better when you have high reactions. Now, we back out, boys and girls. You're going to be an 89 cdm with 85 pace four star weak foot 82 passing 84 dribbling 92 defending and 84 physical this was level 75 cdm build now we have level 100 cdm build guys this year playing cdm at cdm is the move it's really good especially because the way the skill tree is set up heights you're gonna go with six foot weight we're gonna go with 149 pounds now for your play style plus I highly recommend using the Anticipate Plus, guys. This is going to make your standing tackles much more accurate. And when you do make that standing tackle, the ball will stay on your side and not bounce around or nothing like that. The second one, guys, I recommend is the Pink Pass Plus. When you do the RBA or the R1X, the ball will travel much quicker on the ground and it's good to start up your attack. You can also go with the Long Ball Pass Plus, guys. If you're that type of CDM that likes to play in the ball in the air a lot, go with this one the tiki taco plus also works out but guys i really would recommend going with the pink pass plus then from the regular one highly recommend the long ball pass guys this is going to be much better than not having it and you're going to be able to find your teammates much quicker in the air and more accurately when you do an x or a square ball the next one we're going to go with is the tiki taco guys it doesn't hurt to have those one-time ability passing especially as a cdm you want to be moving the ball quick you don't want to be taking too long and this is going to also increase your short distance passing next we're gonna go with intercept guys the main reason we're gonna go with this is is because when you make that interception your player will keep possessions like sometimes if you don't use this and you make that interception your pro will take a really bad touch and not control the ball good enough so i highly recommend intercept next we're gonna go with the press proven this is going to be really good to shield the ball from other opponents and when you're not running or sprinting the ball will stay really close to you so Definitely recommend that. Next, we got the quick step, guys. This is going to be really good to track back or even to push up a bit if you want. It's going to help you accelerate a bit quicker when you're off the ball. And then next, and last but not least, should I say, is the aerial. It's going to give you much higher jumps and increase those chances of you winning your headers. But these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for level 100. For the running style, guys, the one I've been recommending the entire video is the medalist. I think this one's really, really good. It was good last year. Remember, you can use whatever you want, guys, You can for your running style. You can use the default. I recommend you guys to use a medalist. I think it's really good. Now, for the skill tree level 100, you're going to have 160 skill points. So I recommend getting your acceleration, get these two pace focus, and max out your sprint speed have it like this this gives you 90 acceleration and 92 sprint speed that should be more than enough guys and remember when it comes to cdm you don't even need that much pace it's all about positioning yourself the pace doesn't hurt it's going to benefit you because there's going to be times for whatever reason you get beat or you're out of position and then the pace will help you track back or chase down your opponent and then from the shooting guys at level 100 you do want to have a five star weak foot you want to have the ability to pass with both of your foot it doesn't hurt it's going to benefit you. You're not always going to put it on your strong foot or your preferred foot. Then from the passing, guys, we are going to get these three short passing right here. You're going to get the long passing completely filled out as well as the vision. 
and get the passing focus. Now, this gives you 85 vision, which that's to be more than enough for you to send through balls. That's going to determine how accurate the through balls are or the precision passes are. Then you got 92 long pass, which is excellent, guys. You're going to be able to find your teammates either on through balls or balls in the air when you do extra square and then the 89 short pass that is excellent guys it really is you don't need to max it out or nothing like that and then from the dribbling you get the dribbling focus your agility completely filled out more dribbling focus get these two dribbling and then on this right side you get the ball control focus then we're going to focus on the ball control and then get your balance guys you definitely want to have balance it gives you 84 of balance which is good that should do more than the job because you also have the press proven so it's going to make it difficult for opponents to knock you off the ball. And then you also got 89 agility, guys. So when you have that ball, you intercept it, and you need to turn directions quickly, you're going to be able to. Agility is also very important for a CDM. You don't want to be turning too slow. And then you got 86 ball control and 83 dribbling. I think the dribbling is more than enough for that. Then that, you can always add more if you want, but I think it would just be a waste of skill points. Next, we got the defending, guys. One of the most important things as a CDM Get your interceptions completely filled out on this right side. Get your standing tackles completely filled out. Now, this should be more than enough. You got 97 interceptions, 93 defensive awareness, and 91 standing tackle. You got 79 slide tackle. Guys, I promise you, the slide tackling is already good as it is. You don't need, don't waste your skill points on more slide tackle. The most important thing is the interceptions, defensive awareness, and standing tackle, and you have them all in the 90s and above. Last but not least, guys, we got the physical. You're going to get some strength. You're going to focus on some jumping, and then last but not least, get the reaction now. You get 88 jumping, which is good, guys, because there's sometimes you're going to be having to mark CB. So that 88 jumping and you have the aerial should give you a higher chance of winning uh, those aerial battles. Then you got 82 strength. That should be more than enough. The majority of the attackers that you come up against aren't going to be that strong. Even the midfielders that you come up with aren't going to be that strong. So that should be more than enough. And then the reactions, guys. The reactions are important because... That's going to help your pro intercept the ball much quicker. And just your animations and your player's responsiveness is going to be much more better when you have high reactions. Now, we back out, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have 80. You're going to be an 89 rated CDM, but it's the individual stats that matter. Look how well rounded this build is. You got 91 pace. You got the five star weak foot, 84 passing, 84 dribbling, 91 defending and 84 physical this was level 100 cdm built boys and girls hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time